Hey gang, good morning. It's Dave Cudlock here from The Adventure Awaits. It's Anzac Day here in Australia, and we have just come from the ceremony commemorating the Australian New Zealand Army Corps and the sacrifices that they have made for this wonderful country. And it also brings to mind all of our active duty personnel that are currently out there. It was a somber ceremony this morning, but it was one that I was glad to participate in in honor of the Marines that I served with and those that are serving today and certainly those who have gone before us and have made things what they are for us to live a free life. That said, here this morning I am with Scott and his son Jaden and we are about to start the build out of the man cave. I have got the framing coming in right now and I wanted to give you a short introduction and then give you an overview of where we are so far this morning. We're getting underway with the build this morning and here is a local craftsman, Scott Zordan, who is renowned in these areas for building mezzanine floors. I've asked Scott to help us here. Scott's arranged to have the steel framing prefabricated. It was delivered yesterday. And we're getting set up here this morning so that we can erect the steel frame and to put the floor joists in so we can get the floor in tomorrow. Once the timber infill was installed inside the beam and the columns attached, we used the forklift to raise the entire frame into position and I assisted Jaden and Scott as we moved it safely into position, anchored it to the floor, and then attached several supports so that we could hold it vertical and plumb while we were installing the floor joists. As you can see, it was not necessarily a simple maneuver to get it into position, but it was safely done so and anchored permanently to the structure. Then you see the runners that were installed against the wall so that we could attach the floor joist. And here is a shot with that framing now completed with a few joists yet to be installed and the joist hangers to be installed. But it was at an 80% position at that point. The underside of this is going to be sheeted to form a ceiling with down lights and ceiling fans installed. Here is a view of the completed structure as we finished for the Saturday. The joist hangers have been installed. I didn't have a shot of that, but we've left the flooring off until next weekend so we can complete the electrical and plumbing rough in. But so long for now, the adventure awaits. <laughs> 